Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk LEC. The regular week, regular split has gone by very, very fast. Super, super fast. And um, at this point, you know, two teams have to get out. Uh, in regards to the position of everything, we can just pull up the league period just so you looped in. Uh, all things considered, I think that leading into the final weekend, uh, how everything is positioned odds wise, uh, Rogue and Giant X, it looks very, very likely that uh, uh, they're going to. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, as many as we have. Sure. Sorry, guys. I repeat. Giants and Rogue seem like our teams that are going to go into the bottom, right? And the main question then is if Giants and Rogue are going to be able to get some free wins. You know, in terms of how the schedule looks like, Giants, Rogue, they play against each other. So one of them is going to be on 2-1. And then in regards to like the teams that can climb past, Casey have matchups in my mind that they could win. Right? I, I don't think that the difference between the teams in the LEC is that big that uh, it's easy to pick a hard favorite in a BO1. Uh, like I think in terms of like draft preparation, draft preparation and um, in regards to player skill, I think that the, the differences are very, very close. Like if you look at the team like SK Gaming, right? It's like they didn't manage to close out very winning positions. That's something that is solvable. The same thing for Mad Lions and Koi. I think that in terms of what they showed, I don't think that their record is like um, super, super truthful, right? Uh, additionally, like in regards to Team Vitality and, their, and Team Heretics, their wins, not their wins, some of them were closer and they get, got some, you know, good drafts. They had a good read. You know, they have some, some BO1 wins that do, don't necessarily inspire like a super, super high level of confidence. But something to point out that is very important in this format, of course, is momentum, right? Momentum, momentum, momentum. It's so important to have momentum because if um, if you have players and 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 that 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 see themselves in a specific point of view or a specific perspective, it's much harder to actually boil down and to break down because you have so limited time. Uh, you have something very unique this time around because usually LEC is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which means that teams take Tuesday off, which is like Tuesday is like a recuperation day, solo queue day, so forth. And then you have three scrim days. This time around, LEC the week before ended Monday, Tuesday off. They have two scrim days, meaning Wednesday, Thursday. So a lot of the luggage is going to be carried over into the match days because the VCT is being played on the Sunday and that's why um, the schedule has been moved. So we're going to have Friday, uh, which is tomorrow, and Sam's Samstag, which is Saturday and then Monday. So there's going to be one off day in between there uh, on the Sunday where teams can prep and scrim. So leading into this final day, this, I think that the score lines are still going to be close in terms of like KC, GX, and Rogue. If GX and Rogue can steal wins and KC for some reason can get wins, or so the same thing for Mad Lions, uh, things get very, very tough. Uh, but now if we look at the strength of schedule of GX, GX play against Vitality and they play against Team Heretics. You know, I think that as long as you don't face G2 and Fnatic, I think that you, there is room to, to make upsets, right? Additionally, uh, if we look at uh, Mad Lions, uh, uh, they have Team Heretics, they have BDS, and finally they have Fnatic. That's the toughest one. I think that in the other ones, I don't think Mad Lions is favored due to what they've shown, but there's definitely room to to cause like an upset victory. I don't think that the odds are heavily in the favor of the other one. Okay? I think that um, BO1s can be very deceptively poisonous. Uh, I think that... Uh, a team like Mad Lions and SK, I think that they were in winning positions and they had just have a habit of overreaching and playing very, very undisciplined, which of course is also a very tough thing to to, to teach and to, to learn between the weeks. But I think that, um, you know, if we look at SK and Mad Lions, they are like a couple of 
bad decisions away from being like a solid team like Vitality or 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 let's say Team Heretics in the context of like mid-table LEC teams, you know? That's why I don't think there's too much of a difference in the mid-table of the LEC. If we look at the tier list, I think it's, it's still pretty straightforward. G2 is the S. I think Fnatic deserves to be an A. I think that they can fight here too. Uh, I think G2, even though they had that loss against Fnatic, I think in terms of their, you know, macro and their, and their form and their ceiling, like G2 is still the team to beat. I think that the draft against Fnatic was quite poor. And additionally, I think that uh, G, like Fnatic, you know, are in good form. I think Oscarine is playing much better than they did in the last split. Humorid and Razok are popping off and Noah and June are playing the right champions. I'm excited to see the development here of Fnatic as we proceed into a crit heavier meta because Lucian's going to be better, Zeri's going to be better, Jinx going to be better, and, and Aphelios is going to be better. And I think this is where Hans Sama last year was the weakest, you know? Uh, so I'm going to put Fnatic here as, as A tier. They're definitely competing with G2, but I think a, G2 have like um, deserved to put themselves in their own tier. And now is the rest, you know, now is, now is completely the rest. I think that it's easy for me to put Rogue and GX at the bottom. I think that uh, these two teams are not gonna ever win their own games. They're just gonna pick up scraps from the crumbs that whoever eats the bread of the game is going to drop on the floor. And sometimes a team like Casey missed their mouth and dropped the whole bread, right? And that can happen with the likes of SK, that can happen with the likes of, uh, of Mad Lions Koi right now, right? Uh, but um, all in all, like I think that the GX and Rogue definitely deserve to be uh, in, in the bottom tier. I think that um, when I look at GX, why I would put them like above, I guess there's there's a part of me that has um, some resemblance of faith in in Ignar and, and and Patrick, but I think this is like this is like the same same, you know, this is really same same. And for the rest, for the rest. I could say all the diff, but I prefer Finn. I, I could even see a world where Rogue goes above of, above GX, honestly. Okay, if, if I if I just think about this matchup, like who do I think is going to win here? I think probably Rogue, I imagine that they're going to win. I think probably Rogue is gonna win. Yeah. I'm gonna put Rogue above above GX. I think Finn. I think Finn has been solid. I think that, uh, you know, Larson and Comp, you know, they can still like play situations mechanically. I think that's fine. The GX only hope really is like if they get, I don't know, they should cook like a Rumble Comp, like a Rumble Yon, Nautilus, some easy buttons, you know, uh, and maybe Giants can do well. But I imagine Rogue is just going to ban Rumble 1, 2, 3, and then I think Giants just lose all their teeth. I think like Odoam has only been looking fine on, on Rumble, nothing else really. All right, so we continue. I would rogue above GX. In regards to the rest, uh, thank you, Andrew. Sorry, guys. But like if, if I just compare Rogue and GX players pound for pound, I, I think Rogue is, is is just better there, honestly. I, I think they're just better. It's like Zoelis has had a pretty rough year. He's a rookie after all. But just Finn has been okay. Larson has been alright. I, I, I think Rogue should be better here. Okay, now the rest of the table. The rest of the table, this is where it gets a little bit goofy, I'm not going to lie. Like looking at the rest of the table, I think like Team Heretics is probably the team for me that stands up at the most out of the middle pack. Uh, I think Team Heretics, they have cohesion, they play together, they actually have like a resemblance of, of, of setup, which is uh, pretty, pretty solid. I think that um, 
Team Retics. I think the the cool thing with Zvyro, right? I think that he's not trying to do more than he needs to. I think that Jankos and Trimby um, is a, like a good engine for the game. And I think that Wunder is showing good form. So I think Team Retics is like the the the, the team that uh, comes after uh, the, the two demons at the top. Uh, after that, you know, this, this is where things get, get iffy because like Vitality, you know, I think just, just in terms of like individual players, because I um I think Vitality, what's cool about Vitality for me is Douglas is showing more confidence. He had a solid Jax game, solid Viego game. Like he he is actually playing the game. A big, big part of me why I rated Vitality low was Douglas specifically. I think Jungle is a very important role specifically in like um, in in LEC is is a very important role. Like you're playing against very tough players. It's like if you look at the players above you, you have Jankos, Razork, Yike. Uh, you have uh, Elioyas in the league, right? And uh, it's like you have a player like Bo, who's mechan a mechanical demon, you know. And he's like he's on a on a lower tier team, you know. It's like there's there's a lot of tough competition when it comes to jungle in the LEC, you know. And um, it is very easy to to lose games for your team uh, as as a jungler because you impact everyone in in such a way. But I think Douglas is finding confidence, and Photon is also playing quite well. Like he choked like one Gwen situation, but he's playing like all the carries. He plays Rumble, he plays Jace, he plays Gwen, he plays Kesante. I think Photon is looking pretty fucking good, honestly. I think I think Photon is looking pretty fucking good. Additionally, I think Kazi is looking good too. The main question mark here, right, is that I think that um, Hilly, Hilly is, uh, you know, a bit on and off. Uh, like, uh, he's a bit on and off. I don't think that he's in, like, peak Hilly form by any stretch of the imagination. And then additionally, I think Vettio has not really looked quite like himself. I, um, I, I think that... Um, it's um oof. Vettio's Vettio's having a rough split. I'm I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, that that Vettio is like a, a little bit of a, a question mark for me, and I think that's where like my consideration for 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 the next pool of, of pool of teams uh, comes in. I, the the thing is, it's like if if I look at the rest rest of the teams here, I don't think that these are mid laners that are going to be like punishing Vettio, you know, because. So I, I'm going to put Vitality here on, on, on third. It seems to me that I'm just following like the fucking the table, you know, the table. Um, it's it's plain and simple. Like I, I'm just putting all the teams in order. <laughs> As the least interesting tier list of all time. <laughs> I'm just putting them by their scoreline. <laughs> And to be fair, sometimes score lines can be fucking can be honest, you know? They can be honest. Like sometimes score lines can be honest. Like <laughs> score lines can be pretty pretty fucking honest. If I'm gonna be <laughs> It's it's like in, in my mind, I think if, if anything, right, if we can take anything away from, from the scoreline that might be, like, wrong and might be deceptive, uh, is just, like, Koi and, and SK. I think Koi and SK, there, there, there is more room for them to, to, there's room for them to do more. And I think that it's like losing games from one position it means that you have like some strong grasp of, of early games, some strong grasp of, of lane phase. And uh, I I think that's like the, the one consideration of things that might jump up, you know? I think also does the world where BDS work higher, but the main concern for me with BDS, like it seems to me like they're trying to expand their horizons, right? They're trying to expand a little bit more in terms of um, what um, they bring to the table. Uh, like Ice is playing carries, like Ice is playing carries, right? And uh, my main concern here is 
I want to see Adam expand to playing ranged champs. Because currently, every top laner that prepares for Adam, they just prepare their favorite ranged champ and he's kind of in trouble. Uh, we think about Rumble, Jace, Twisted Fate. You know, people are just picking melee champs, like, like ranged champs against Adam. And I think Adam needs to start competing in that department. Uh, because he had like one Sejuani game, he played like Olaf into Rumble, he played Olaf into Jace. You know, the, the, these are these are champions that I don't think necessarily are super good there. And um, I think that if you look at Adam at this point, he's an experienced player, like he needs to be able to cover all grounds of what, what it means to be a top laner. That's why like Photon... It's like Photon is playing all the right champions. Uh, you have... Um, you know, Wunder playing Twisted Fate, you know, like I, I think these ranged champions are super important to play right now and I think those that are capable can get away with a lot, a lot more. The other flip side, right, BDS could simplify and just play Kisanta Renekton than every game, but then they just need to pick it earlier. Uh, but uh, BDS, I like that they're shaping things up a little bit more, shaking it up and letting Ice play more carry champions because it's going to segue them very well into 14.6. You know, which is going to be the playoff patch. Um, so, all in all, I think this center block here, I think that they, they, they can all kind of beat each other. I think that in terms of the B1 information is rather limited. And I think that it's important to not be too deceived because all, all of this after one week, weekend of, of B1s can just change. I, I don't have you know, privileged information in terms of scrims or whatever the fuck was going to come at the table. I just think that, like, in regards to this format, it's it's so psychologically testing in, in a way that I don't think is, is, like, super important in terms of, um, let's say, building the right skill set. Building the right skill set, I think that... Um, this format is just very brutal to you if you if you show poor form. And um, I guess the LEC TLS is not going to look super, super exciting this time around. I think in terms of the matchups, if we just look at the matchups, honestly, I don't really have anything interesting to add. It's like, I think Rogue is going to win this one. I think Ferrari is going to beat Team BDS. I think the G2 will beat SK Gaming, and I think that Team Retics will beat Mad Lions Koi. Team Vitality versus KC. Vitality looks like the favorite. Like my main concern for KC, right, is just that, like that, they are. I feel like there's a, they're, they're so hung up on this Viego pick that I don't like this Viego pick. They're trying to slot it in. Uh, I think that, um, you know, this team needs to find. Like, like they need to find a more elegant way of involving Saken in the game. I think Saken ends up in a lot of cases, you know, like uh, Saken is just running after the decisions and ends up really, really, really like in in in, in tough spots. I think. Um, In regards to what works for them, I think they should be very happy to play like Zeri Kaiser games. But I feel like this is also something that teams know. So I, I am, as someone who wants Casey to succeed, I am worried moving into this weekend, you know, uh, trying to view it from an impartial lens. You know, I am quite worried. But I think if if they manage to play the right both matchups, you know, they have the scaling champ like the Rakan of, uh, of course, um, of uh, Mr. Mr. Rafael Krabe. The Rakan was solid. We have the carry champions for, um, for upset. And the mid the jungle combo is something that can like contest and fight together. I think it looks good. You know, like I want to see some more, you know, maybe some lease in action, some, some Ari action. You know, I think that uh, the draft they had... Um, with the Ari against Mad Lions, I, th I think that was was one that was that really really encompassed uh, all of the nice details, you know. Uh, like uh, I, I think moving in that direction, I think is the best way. And I, and I hope that uh, you know Sakin can find like like his confidence again because I think he's he's kind of moving with the water instead of like 
being the force that moves the water himself, you know? Uh, I think that uh, he needs to take bigger charge in the game, you know? And um, I think the, the, the easiest way to find simplicity coming into a weekend like this is through the draft. But Team Vitality is a flawed team, right? Team Vitality is a flawed team. Team Retics, oh, they're solid. They're solid. You have to crack them in an honest way. But Team Vitality is a flawed, a flawed team. Uh, the same way with Team BDS, they're also a flawed team. Like Casey can definitely cause some upset wins. I think, I think Casey and Mad Lions causing upset wins is way more likely than Rogue and SK, Rogue and Giants to cause upset wins. So I feel like Casey will qualify to, to, the, to the best of threes. I, I think the odds that GX or Rogue cause upset wins here is, is like so slim. I think it's more likely that Casey and Mad uh, take victories from, from the other teams. So, in regards to the standings, right? In regards to the standings, I, I, I hope that Casey can breathe easy, right? Because I think Giant, X and Rogue, they've really, really shut the bed for themselves. But, obviously, you would, you would like to have a win, right? Because if you're in the situation where Mad Lions, Koi and Casey for some reason don't win and there's like a three-way tie or there's a tie and you have to play a tiebreaker, uh, that shit can get funky really, really fast. But coming into this this weekend of the LEC, I think uh, you know, eyes on Mad Lions and Casey because I think if they take one win, if they take one win, they are safe. They are really, really safe. In the case of Rogue winning, then they get side selection in a, uh, of course, a game against Casey if. Casey don't win a single game, but I, I think that Casey should be able to get an upset win against all of these opponents. BDS, Team Retics, Vitality, they are not fanatic with G2, you know? I think that the level of macro they play at and the level of individual play, this is something that Casey can match. But to be truthful, Casey doesn't walk into uh, this these matches as, as a favorite based on what they've shown, but I don't think that they are like a heavy underdog. You know, they are definitely not a heavy underdog. I think it's like a, it's a matter of percentages, small percentages. Uh, that's it. I, I, I think that, uh, that, that there's very little to add, guys. Like uh, looking at uh, the, the small sample size that we have, um, I think that I'm not really adding anything interesting. So I think I think we call it the day there. I have to go to the optician tomorrow. If we look at what uh, the world has to offer us. We have some some neat games. We have FPX at eight in the morning. Well, well, let's make let's make sure to catch that. And we have Topis Bulls versus Thund Thunder Talk, and then we have JDG versus Weibo. All right, it's quite the busy day. It's quite the busy day. Uh, let's get down to business. I guess we can top this off by 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 looking at um, the LEC mic check. Good shout. Team they're actually winning a lot. They lost today. Oh, sorry. Well, don't think I'm going to win today. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 All right. See. <laughs> Can you hear me? Stay on midway, we have Talia, TF, you don't let component. Yeah, Gom doesn't play cleanse, so you cannot leave me alone. What? What? <laughs> Where's your cleanse? And to play TP. If you go A Rizaya, then yeah. I think you report it. You know they edit the report in game, right? Yeah. I will just click it instantly. I mean, I have you blocked since I'm reporting you every stream. <laughs> Wait, are you? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh shit. It's win, guys. Then we can chill and watch the banger games that they used today. Uh, oh, look, 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 look. Holy. Holy. Lombo combo. Holy. Holy. Okay, nice spot, guys. Okay, good, good, good. Good job, Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Oh, I'm shit. Win, I'm <laughs> I'm Nico. Nico after. Nico after. We win, we win. 
<laughs> good job, Crowny. Let's go, guys! Fuck this game. We want to kill him. I want to kill him. I'm flanking him. I'm in the game. Thank you, guys. You have the same name. That who? The, the guy from Cyberpunk, the anime. Cyberpunk? Really? <laughs> yes, he's like yeah. a bullying guy. David, David Martinez, no? Yeah. But you are walking on stage with Kid Casey Flynn. Holy, that is the most Spanish accent I've ever heard, man. The Cyberpunk? <laughs> I love it. The guy from Cyberpunk, the anime. Really? Yes, yes he's like a bullying guy. David, David Martinez, no? Yeah. But you are walking on stage with Kid Casey Flynn, you? Maybe. Because I couldn't understand what they said. That's no, why they neither. They just say, let's go on this key. Oh, I think they said that nice. I'm dead, basically, like, for tomorrow. Ah, oh, okay. God damn, okay. What? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, God, this referee right here, his name is the Showstopper. That's the Showstopper. His in-game name is the Showstopper. You know what this guy does sometimes? He just says, yo, Rathlok, do you know this leasing trick? And then he shows him some leasing mechanic. This guy gets involved, man. The Showstopper. Said that nice. I'm dead, basically, like for tomorrow. Ah, okay. God damn. Okay. God damn. <laughs> hey, what happened? Ah, okay. What did God he drop? Damn, okay. What is that editing? Test. Like... Test. Don't test, Peter. Don't test. Yeah, us. Don't test. Uh, you I... test us, Peter. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, I dropped. I dropped the thing on the floor. Sorry. Can I have Jayan muted for me? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait. wait, wait, wait. What the <laughs> <laughs> Very special. based. What? Wow. Wait, who are you talking to here right now? Wait. Are you on our side? Yeah, just look around some guys first. <laughs> but you have to take the lamp. I will probably flash her. Yeah. Look at it. 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 Bro. Niski. Like, Niski's playing well. But then he's like, he's getting so nervous and stressed, it seems like, in the game. That he wants to just end the game, even though the opportunity is not there, man. And he's just fucking flashing forward, going forward. He's like, get me out of this fucking game. How could we lose this shit, you know? Make sure yeah. she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Okay. okay. Very Varus, very Varus. Say nice that, say nice that, say nice that. Okay. We can end here. Can we, can we, can we? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. But it's wait, fine. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Good job. Go can bot? you go for bot? Can you? Vego, help Vego, help me Vego. Go through bot, go through yeah, bot, bot and you can end. Yeah, Nico has an ult and knows all. Okay, we won. Good job. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's engage. Ellie just told him, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but in his own way. Let's go. <laughs> is, is he just learning random words? Yeah, he, he is, bro. <laughs> what, what did he say? Oh my god, June is so like, cute. He said, like, like hey, that, hey, hey, bro, you know, like, hey, bro. Whenever I have a good game, I think the game will be easy to play, okay? Uh, Ref, can I have a BB lower? Uh, BB 10% okay. hey, lower for you? <laughs> BB is like, uh, yeah, you BB is like, I will carry the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, listen to me and we win. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just <laughs> yeah, we can take a 2v2 here. Look, Lee, Lee, Lee. I, okay. I block, I push Ari out. He's this, this. Nice! <laughs> you! Nice. He wants to eliminate it all. No, I'm coming, I'm coming to protect you. Yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait. Bro, you. it's getting in. I, I block, I push Ari out. He's this, this. Nice! You! I was getting nice. just spectating. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming to protect you. Yeah, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh. Ari, please. Trolling. I get the cut of my face! Nice, nice, nice. Oh, <laughs> look, look, he's smaller, he's smaller, he's smaller! I got him, I got him! Yeah. He's smaller! Nice! He's smaller, I can stand again! He's stunned, he's stunned, he's stunned! Q! GG! Uh, help me! Bomb! Nice! nice. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. I, I really agree. Fuck these guys What's up, man. What's the formula behind the TF? Honestly, guys. Uh, being a fanatic, beating G2 is, is orgasmic, by the way. But I was on Fnatic beating G2. Oh, it was so delicious. It was so delicious, man. It was the best feeling ever, man. W. Like, why do some there's, people... There's is it just car. random? Is it just random? Or do you... No, it's not random. So basically, 
it keeps ticking and it stops ticking. So basically there's a count, right? So you can have a metronome, but it doesn't count when your card is on cooldown. So when your card is off cooldown, the count continues. Oh yeah, there's a count. If you keep count, yeah. the count. Yeah. The count is the same. When I pick yellow, I will say yellow, blue, red, <laughs> okay, yellow, okay, blue, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, yellow red. blue, red, yellow. Blue, red. Blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow. yellow. Okay, it works. <laughs> it works, brothers. <laughs> yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow. Uh, wonder that's a. Uh, and we can FTP. Yellow. <laughs> yellow. I don't know, blue, red. I don't know. Kalista <laughs> <laughs> should go lethality, I think. I mean, Kalista can't go any item because we're. <laughs> Base. <laughs> Base. That's what I like, you like to build, hear, you bro. Go first, go first, go first, go first, go first. Where's the flash? Where's the flash? I'm killing for low wind. Yeah, go, 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 go. I don't want to remember this game. Go, come in, come in, come in, come in. Viego, 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 Viego. Yeah. I will see him forever. I will come, I will come. Viego, Viego. I will see him forever. And guys, just run down mid as four, and you end the game. Our base is open. Yeah. Forty seconds. Oh no way. I need to flash out, I'm fine. I'm going. Ah, uh, shit. Bro, oh they didn't shut. Ah. As the viewer. As the viewer, I would love to see everything there. Everything. But from the team side and from the player side, I'm happy that they did. Because this, you, you would see the rawest pain known to pro player. They can look to TV soon. I can't stop for now. We're fine, we're fine. They can look to TV now. We win, we win. Nice, guys. I'm about to come out. So look, run, just run. We can, we can, guys. We can. If they go, if they go, look, 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 go, 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 go. Jax, blank kick still. Just enough, just enough. I can't just enough. You guys win, you guys win. No way. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I can speed you. I'm coming as well. I push the wave. Quadra Q. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow on the stream here. Yeah? I wish you all the best. Take care. Hey, what's that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I look so aggressive. It looks like I'm fucking Zack eating someone, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking Zack eating somebody, bro. <laughs> Whatever, man. Let's fucking put it in there. Man. <laughs> All right, team.